to Joyce Lab, and today we are doing a canvas painting with uh, silk flowers on it. And mostly for um, the elderly in a nursing home or children um, that can't paint flowers very well, um, find it difficult to do that. Whenever I take this to the nursing home, it is a big hit. When they get finished, they just they show it to everybody in the class, and they're just so happy with it. Get started. So the first thing we're going to do to get started is we'll have our 8x10 canvas and I have about 10 people in my class so I you keep in mind that you have to have 10 of these already prepared to take to the class so 10 plates take your paints with you you're going to lay out the paints just like that in the class I'll be starting with the white like this and you see I go back and forth like that with the white and I only go about maybe four inches from the corner and then I'll put some of the blue. Kind of blend that in with the white a little bit. Don't overwork it too much. And then I might go and get a little bit of the darker blue. And come over here. So we're doing just a quick background, basically. Keep going back to the white and then lighten it up in certain areas. If you want a nice kind of sky blue, I guess, and then some dark blue in there too. Then I kind of fade into the, the green, the teal green here that I have for the bottom. And maybe add a little bit of dark blue, just a tad bit. But you want some of the teal, white. The white pretty much mixes with everything. I'll go back to the blue in this corner. And that's basically it, but I'll lay about 10 of these out. You know, do like three of them at a time maybe with um, before it starts to dry. And then if you want it to be a little smoother, you can just kind of drag your your brush over the top of it if you like it like that. Some people like it the way it was, a little bit rough. You can go that way if you like. The, the more you drag the brush over it, the more smooth the texture is gonna be. But that's a lot of extra work, I think. So I usually just leave it with, um, you know, the rough. Um, texture on it. And then we let that dry and then we come back and do the stems. Okay now it's dry so we're going to use a liner brush. I'm just using the green and some white and then I just come up from the corner here. And if you load this brush, this liner brush, really good with this acrylic paint and a little bit of water, it'll go a long way and you won't have to keep Getting too much paint on your brush, but I, I add white now and then. Just you see what that does? Gives it a nice little highlight on each stem. Make them different lengths. Just a few. And then I press down and lift up. And I just get a leaf down, twist it a little bit, and as you're twisting, you can lift it up and it'll give you a nice little point. Let's go back to some more green. Press and lift. Press and lift. I'll do that a lot um, slower. You can just put leaves anywhere you want. Add a little bit of white down in here to make them show up. And then I just do the you know the same thing on all the ones that I have laid out and I let them dry. And then when I go to class, this is what they get. What they'll do from there is I'll have flowers. All these flowers in the table are laid out. And I get them from yard sales. I get them from thrift shops. I take them home and I, um, I wash them if they're dusty. And I just lay them out on the table in front of all of them. And then they choose their flowers and they have their tacky glue and they can glue them themselves or what they'll do is they lay them down. I always have a sheet of paper behind their painting um, so that they can lay all their flowers down where they want them. And then I pick up the whole thing and I'll go and glue and use the glue gun on a lot of them that can't glue their own. They just place them down. It just depends on the level of their skill. They go from there and they just start laying their flowers out and they just talk while they're doing it. They pick their flowers out. I have a really good 
selection for the intent to choose from and it's a fun craft too and my job is very easy when I get there because all of the bat all the prep work is finished for them. Thanks for watching and if you like the video subscribe. Have a good day.